So hello and welcome to uh, week 400,000 in lockdown. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Tuesday the 16th of June I believe today and we've been shielding now for 14 and a bit weeks and I decided to come out for a walk and I'm going to make this a regular thing now. Now it's a little bit easier there's a little bit less of the the virus in the community I feel safe to come out and do a few walks and you know and I thought what I would do is I would share some of my musings whilst out on my walk it might not be something you're interested in if it's not then please feel free to to turn off and if uh, if it is then great you know I'm still going to do the uh still going to do the other videos alongside it but I just thought that I'd you know I just thought that I'd share some of my thoughts with you whilst I'm walking because let's face it walking's boring and at least it kills a bit of time and just gets the walk done without me really concentrating too much on the walking bit of it so the first thing I want to talk about so basically what I'm saying is this is for me and not for you <laughs> the, the first thing I want to talk about is oh, social media right social media that's what I'm going to talk about today so it's Tuesday and on Sunday I decided I just had enough to be honest and I decided to, to delete Facebook and Twitter from my phone uh, I don't own an iPad so it's not on there the only place it is now is on my computer uh, I haven't deleted my account I've still got my account but I've deleted off the phone because that was where I always you know wake up in the morning look at Facebook wake up in the morning look at Twitter you know sitting there watching telly oh look at Facebook you know if I want if I want to look at it I have to physically now get up and move to my computer to look at it and the reason that I've deleted it is because it's changed social media Facebook it's changed it's changed from what it was you know it used to be a place where your friends would come and share their I don't know events and experiences and oh happy birthday Derek you know and now it's just something else so it's kind of like the analogy that I kind of use on it is if let's say for instance I didn't like rabbits right I hate rabbits I don't hate rabbits but let's say I did why would I have an app on my phone where I can switch it on and get constantly bombarded with pictures of rabbits why would I why would I switch it on and see all that and that's all, all Facebook and Twitter seem to be now that and a mix of that and photos uh, because I'm a member of a lot of groups oh and ads sponsored ads which you know is another thing that annoys me but so it's like it, it, everyone now thinks that, that they've got this absolute it's not a right it's almost like a, a, a duty to post their opinions and their agendas on Facebook you know when I was a kid I always used to say two things you should never talk about with your friends is religion and politics right and I used to think oh what a load of rubbish that is and now I think that's absolutely spot on do you know spot on because all you ever see now is people's opinions about you know you've got and, and the thing is as well is they're not 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 the moderate opinions so not the opinions of most of you guys who are watching probably and me because we don't bother we don't need to feel I feel we need to foist our opinions onto other people it's the opinions of the the extremists from either side you know so you've got you know you've got this whole thing about the statues you know oh knock all these statues down oh bastards knocking all these statues down and it's like you know or it's coronavirus you know it's like, oh bloody people walking outside going out and having fun when there's coronavirus on they're killing everyone or the other side of it is there's no such thing as coronavirus it's all made up by the government or brexit you know get out of europe as soon as we can oh you knuckle dragon thugs who want to get us out of europe it's like do you know what it's like i'm sick and tired of seeing it i'm sick and tired of seeing all the bile and the vitriol and the problem is is that yes I have opinions on all of these things 
But what happens is, is that when I switch on Facebook or Twitter, it makes me angry. It makes me more judgmental. It makes me more cynical. You know, it's terrible really. You know, it's like, I used to be a time when I was sort of innocently naive and I just used to, you know, just used to bod along and, you know, take things at face value. And, and I quite like being like that, you know. I mean, I've always been a questioning person. I've always been a little bit cynical and questioning. But nowadays, like, I'm cynical about everything. And I'm angry about everything. And I, and I think that's social media. It's partly getting older as well, being, you know. But it's, I think a lot of it's social media. I'm angry because I'm just, I'm confronted every day with these pictures of rabbits, you know? That I just don't want to see. I don't want to see them anymore. I've had enough, so I've switched it off. And you know what? I'm a happier person. It doesn't sound like it, does it? <laughs> but I am. I'm a happier person for it. I feel more relaxed. I don't care so much about what's going on. I don't care about rabbits. They don't bother me anymore. All I'm bothered about now is just, uh, you know, enjoying myself. And it's really weird because I put out a vlog yesterday um, on bird watching so i'll put a link to it if you want to watch it uh and i hadn't recorded that vlog until yesterday no wait a minute yeah i hadn't recorded that vlog till, i hadn't had any compunction to put it out until yesterday and it's almost like as soon as i switch off social media i start wanting to do things again i start wanting to yeah i start wanting to do vlogs and, and go out and you know go for a walk whereas it's almost like I'm not like, playing social media for everything. I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, you can't say, oh, you know, I'm a lazy bastard because of social media. And, you know, I'm a thug, racist thug because of social media. Or, you know, I'm a whatever because of social media. That's not true. And social media does have some benefits. Like I've met lots of friends through social media that I wouldn't know otherwise. But for me, it was just making me angry. Making me angry and cynical and judgmental and... You know, and even normal stuff like there was there's a guy who is on one of the groups. And and this is how crazy it is, and this is I mean this is all about me, right? This is my issue, this is not his issue or anyone else's issue before we start, right? This is my issue. So I'm posting pictures on this group and you know I'm getting like lots of I mean it doesn't even matter, it shouldn't matter, but I'm getting lots of like likes and you know, all fantastic pictures and these are great and all lovely and all this, right? And then this guy comes on and he's posting pictures on this group. And it's terrible to say, you know, maybe jealousy, maybe just, you know, but in all honesty, they're not as good as my pictures. They're not, they're, they're just not. You know, I'm picking fault with them and, you know, which I shouldn't even care, but, and they're getting twice as many likes, three times as many likes, and loads of people going, oh my God, you're amazing. You'll have to teach me how to use a camera. And I'm sort of like sitting there going, what? Hang on a minute. What about me? What about, what about me? I mean, how ridiculous is that? How ridiculous is it that I'm getting wound up by looking at some other guy's photos? What I should be doing, what I should be saying is, good on you, mate. You know, well done. Well done, excellent. I'll be for going out, getting up early in the morning, taking your photos, taking your wildlife photos, taking your landscape photos, and I'm really pleased for the praise that you're getting for them, you know? But I, I wasn't feeling like that. I was almost resentful to some guy that I didn't even know because he was getting more likes than me and getting comments about, please teach me how to use a camera. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And I think that is that, the, that and, and, a, and another point where I posted, I posted, so I posted something on, on, a, on, a, on a YouTube page, YouTube video, I posted a comment and it was in jest, it was a joke. I'm not going to share the comment with you, I'm not going to share the, the, the video with you, but I kind of thought that I, I'd had a, had a conversation with the guy who, who was the, the vlogger. And so I kind of thought, well, if I post this, it'll be all right. It's just a joke anyway. And then I posted it and like literally immediately I posted it. I went, no, that's going to get misconstrued. I need to, I need to take that off. I can't, I can't keep that post on. So I took it down straight away, straight away. 
because it was it, it was a joke but it could easily be misconstrued as something else and it turns out it was misconstrued as something else because obviously when someone posts something even if they delete it you as the vlogger still get the email notification so the guy gets the email notification posts it straight up onto facebook someone in this group who should remain nameless has posted this he deleted it and thought he got away with it and i was like oh, okay so I just, and then and then there's like three or four five comments of oh what a bastard for posting that how dare he make judgments on you blah 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 he'll, he'll want to come and take down your statues next in your garden and i was like do you know what so as soon as I read it, I was like, posted a comment underneath on the Facebook post. It said, now that was me. I'd done it as a joke, but then I thought better of it because I clearly realized that it wasn't going to be taken as a joke and I deleted it. And I was right because it wasn't taken as a joke. It was immediately thingy. But the point is, is that this is the problem with social media. It's like the guy with, who, who was a vlogger was saying about you know, it's out of order, all this negativity. Why do people have to be negative? But he's expressing that thought or explaining that thought by being negative. Doesn't make sense. So I apologized. You know, I said, look, I'm sorry if my comment, which I thought better of and deleted and no one ever saw offended you to the point where you had to show it to everyone and kind of make it a deal. But you could have messaged me. We could have had a chat. We could have said, I would have explained to you the context of the, of the message and said, yeah, you, look, you know what, I was out of order. But you didn't, you decided to post it on Facebook and then, you know, then the whole, the whole issue that wasn't even an issue starts and for no reason. So that was another thing. And I got to a point then where I just thought, do you know what, that like, that, that, was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back and I just thought no more no more no more social media now for a while because that along with me getting wound up at some perfectly all right bloke <laughs> posting pictures on Facebook and then with all the other bile and vitriol that's about I thought no I'm just gonna get rid of it and detox for a while so I say to you guys you know don't get don't get pulled into the whole social media thing i mean it's too late really we're all in it there's nothing we can do about it but i actually think that you don't need it as much as you think you need it i think that you know people who think they can't cope without facebook or twitter or whatever i think you can i think you can cope without it like i said i don't think we any of us need it as much as we we possibly think we do I certainly haven't missed it in the, in, in the two days that I've been, been without it. But I haven't missed it. I genuinely haven't. So, I don't know. Whew. See, that's a lap I've done now. And I haven't even thought about it because I spent all this time rambling. So, you know, if you stuck with this till this point, well done. You're mad. I'm hoping to make this a maybe a once weekly thing I mean you know let me know if you're if it's something that you're even interested in watching because if it isn't then actually even if it isn't it's still good for me so you know I don't, that's a, I don't understand these this whole thing where people say oh you know this particular thing isn't working out for my YouTube views so I'm going to drop it because well I do understand it but for me I'm trying to produce comment, comment, content that's that's sort of beneficial for everyone. Not, not that this is probably even very beneficial for everyone, but it's certainly making me feel better anyway. So, also, if there's anything you want me to talk about while I'm wandering, then you know, please let me know. Drop a comment, and I'll have a. I'll have a chat about it. Uh, well, it's more of a it's more of a, a monologue, really, about it rather than a chat. But the thing I'm trying to do is, you know, be a 
be a more constructive and happier person rather than being judgmental and cynical and what have you so we'll see how that works I mean I know I've got my flaws and I think that's the, the thing is if you know you've got issues or you know you've got a flaw then trying to do something about it is you know the way to go <laughs> anyway thanks for watching uh, I may be back next week with some more uh, ramblings I may not but uh, in either way in either way in either case I'll see you soon